I met Lisa probably four-ish years ago um, after I had our second miscarriage, and I really needed help. My blood sugar levels were terrible. Um, I was gaining weight. I was just feeling really awful. I didn't feel good about myself. Um, my mental stability was just not there, and I was really worried about uh, what would happen if we got you know, pregnant again and I didn't work on trying to fix it. So I met with Lisa, and after kind of figuring out um, what we'd been through and what kind of things we needed to work on, she set up a nutrition plan for me. And I started um, intermittent fasting and doing the keto diet, um, but not to try to get into ketosis. You know, my ultimate goal was not really to lose weight. It was just to regulate those hormone and blood sugar levels to get healthy, to feel good about myself. Um, and so when I intermittent fasted, I didn't um, fast for longer than 14 hours. And I used my morning fasting time as kind of prayer time to just ask God to, you know, help me be strong to be able to fast and stick with the diet. Um, and then the keto diet, we limited the number of grams of sugar that I ate per day and made sure that I was eating the right kind of fats, meat, fat, avocados. Um, and that just helped a ton. I didn't eat a lot of pork and bacon, um, and I cut like soybean oil and processed foods out of my diet and I've never felt better. Um, I was able to conceive again and get pregnant and sustain a pregnancy where I didn't have to be on progesterone. Um, and I actually switched doctors uh, about halfway through and joined the Joyful Birth Project with Lisa and Erin. Um, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without hammering down and really working on that nutrition. And so um, if you have questions or you need help, I highly recommend working with Lisa. She's phenomenal. She does her research. Um, she looks at you as an individual and not people as a whole, um, to help you figure out that nutritional and diet plan. And, um, I look forward to working with her again. Thanks.